All right, welcome to our brand new podcast. My name is Greg, and this is my co-host, Karen. Hello, how are y'all? Uh, we're real excited to be here today talking to you, and our plan uh, today is to talk about our new Fun Stuff collection fun. At, the, at the Garland County Library. Big fun. Big fun. So, Karen, what is so fun about the Fun Stuff? Well, it's fun, number one, and to get people out and about uh, exercising. We've got a lot of things coming up. Um, a lot of new ideas to get, um, just fun. Well, maybe we could back up just a minute and talk about what, what does the fun stuff collection can consist of? I know we <clears throat> have lots of puzzles and games and fishing poles, and it really kind of runs the gamut of sort of non, non-traditional library materials. Correct. Um, some of this you've never seen in a library. We're going to get a yoga mat. We have got board games that you can check out. Lots of board games. We're going to get some more. Can, can you give us some, some examples of the most popular board games? The most popular board game, a couple of the classics, uh, Battleship and Clue are really popular. Scrabble is up there, Yahtzee. We've also got Labyrinth. If you haven't played it, it's a lot of fun. There's different versions of Labyrinth, so we've got a couple of different versions of that. We're getting in some new games. I just uh, catalog Risk, if you played Risk many years ago. So um, those are the popular ones. Then we have some newer ones, or new to me, Werewolf, which is fun, and Catan. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it seems... Close enough. Close enough. It seems to be very popular. So um, lots of board games. Connect Four, always popular. Okay, and we also have tons of cross, uh, not not crossword puzzles, uh, jigsaw puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles. Uh, jigsaw puzzles are very popular, especially the three to five hundred pieces. Um, very popular. The last time I did a puzzle, it was during our snow week last year. <laughs> so I'm thinking about taking one home again because it's the yes. perfect it's the perfect thing to do if there's going to be bad weather, if you're st- stuck at home, if you're not f- feeling well. Um, All those things. Right. So next week there might be some bad weather, fingers crossed. Um, so come in and get a puzzle or a board game. Okay, we've got uh, puzzles, board games, but you were talking about some things that might help people do some things outside, yes, right? Yes, so, uh, We've got something called yard games. We have the big Jenga. We have big dominoes. Uh, we were getting in a golf, a disc golf set. I've never played disc golf. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, we're getting in one of those, some croquet or croquette. Yes. <laughs> depending on where you're from. Um, so we're getting a lot of things, and we're going to have some outdoor backpacks, one for uh, children, students, and then one for adults we're going to put together. It's going to have binoculars and a magnifying glass and maybe some guides in it. We're working on that. So a lot of different things are happening. We will get a calculator if you need to take the ACT. It's for students. We, we can have one that you can check out. Um, give us a couple of weeks, and we'll have it ready for you. Um, okay, Out, outdoor things. What about pickleball? I know a lot of people are into yes. pickleball. Yes, I've got someone uh, looking into what the best set would be for a library setting and to check out, you know, multiple times. So, yes, we're definitely going to get a pickleball the next go around, the next order we do. We'll have pickleball and probably some other great things. Uh, but pickleball, I know it's popular. So we are going to do some pickleballing. Okay. You, you mentioned that you were having someone look to try to find the best one to check out. And that is a consideration with these things that, that you're buying. You're not necessarily just buying whatever. You're yeah. looking at longevity and can it, can it take a, a lot of uh, abuse with people checking it out. So have you, are, are there some things that you've thought about getting, but you decided, well, you know, that's not really going to work for people uh, checking it out? Yes, and I can't remember what it was. I, I know there are some games people have mentioned that just have too many pieces. Monopoly, I think, is one of them. They just have so many pieces, and if, if you're missing a few pieces on that, the game's kind of uh, ruined for you. Um, so we kind of look at the pieces on the games. Right. Uh, we do try to get popular things, but also, you know, for its multiple uses, there's a chance of being pieces being lost or damaged. So we're trying to... Try, there's a lot of consideration. There are a lot of factors that we consider when we get something. Right. And uh, something that's not new to our collection, but people uh, tend to 
get uh, excited about is uh, fishing poles. Are we continuing oh, yes. to circulate fishing poles? Fishing poles are so popular. Um, we do have those. Hopefully, we'll get some more in. Uh, Arkansas Game and Fish has been really great about coming in and restocking us and making sure we have line on them and whatever else they need. If the reels need to be fixed or replaced, they're really good about that. So hopefully we'll get some more uh, closer to springtime, maybe uh, April or May. Right. Sometime. And then uh, in October, you usually have a big fishing uh, Fish ween right. I'm sure this year will be fish ween number three. So that's, that's real fun, our fishing derby out at um, Family Park. Okay, so what other kinds of things do we have in the fun collection? Let's talk cake pans. Let's oh. talk some baking. <laughs> okay, it is time <laughs> to bake. Time to Bakers, bake. beware. We do have cake pans. We're getting in some mixing bowls and uh, I think some candy thermometers and some measuring cups, something that you can check out if, you know, if you're if you don't bake a lot, you don't have these items that you can come up here and, and, and check out and then bake away. So we're going to try to do um, something with uh, baking, a program with baking or something in the, in the near future. But yes, we have cake pans galore. If you need frozen for your child's birthday, we have that cake pan or Spider-Man. Could we do like a great Garland County baking show? Oh my gosh. Something yes. like that? Yes. yes. I think that would yes, be pretty, that would pretty be exciting. Awesome. Okay, here's here's the number one question about cake pans. Can you put them in the dishwasher? Absolutely not. <laughs> Do not put cake pans, our cake pans, Wilton cake pans mostly, in the dishwasher. It uh, just messes them up. So, and don't put your own cake pan in there. That's my opinion. Right. But uh, Karen, Karen and I have had lots of arguments about what you can and cannot put in the dishwasher. And, and skillets I, is one of them that you should not put in the dishwasher. <laughs> Is there a, a, like a most popular cake cake pan, like one that, that checks out more more than the others? Or I think Spider Man is, is real popular. We also have just regular oblong cake pans or round cake pans. If you just if you don't want a character, we have those. Uh, but I think Spider Man is, is one of the most popular. And Darth Vader. Do you have a particular cake recipe that you would share? Uh, Duncan Hines. Yum. Yes. All right, so we've got uh, cake pans, fishing poles, um, lots of other fun stuff, games, and puzzles. Uh, I've seen some other things over there. I know we have some uh, m uh, microscopes or... Microscopes, yes. We have, well, I think we have two different kinds. We have one that's for younger um, students and then one a little bit older. But we do have microscopes if you'd like to check one of those out. And we have telescopes as well. We have a huge, what's called a tabletop telescope it's, it's pretty big and just regular telescope All right and these these telescopes are huge they come in a big red uh tub yeah. so uh you might need someone to help you take it out <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's pretty big they're very popular as well we also have and you can get on the list uh passes for uh garvin gardens and the mid-america science museum those are so popular uh i think i looked the other day and there's over 200 holds on them and we have multiple, but um, it's still very popular and very hard to get through all those holds in one year. <laughs> right. So if you uh, are lucky enough to be on the holds list for a, let's say, a Garvin Garden Pass and your time comes, uh, what does that mean exactly? What, what do you get to do with that pass? You get to take four of your friends or family members and go visit the garden at Garvin or go out to Mid-America and you get to keep it for one week. Uh, if we call you and say you have a, a pass here and you can't use it that week, we can suspend your hold, which doesn't throw you to the bottom, but it will give somebody else a chance to use it and try to get through our holds list um, quickly as we can. So if you're trying to plan a cheap Mother's Day, how would you try to get it by Mother's Day? I don't think you could get it by Mother's Day, Greg. You're going to have to pay for your mother, so um, that's that's a hard one. That's because there's so many holds. All right, we, we have ton, tons of people interested in that and wanting to go, so you just sometimes have to wait your wait your turn. Yes, and we've talked about getting more, but of course, you know, both both of those places are in it to to make money to continue their services as well. So we're trying. There may be something else we could do, but. A lot of things are in the works right now. All right. 
Uh, I've seen some other things in in the in the fun in the fun section. Uh, is there like a fondue maker? Oh, my chocolate fountain that everybody laughed at me for getting, which has been very popular. Uh, we do have a chocolate fountain if you need one. Uh, it's very easy to use. Can it go in the dishwasher? Absolutely not. Nothing in the dishwasher. We also have a ice cream maker, ice cream slash yogurt maker that you can check out, and a wood burning set for. All of these kits are for 18 and older. You have to be 18 to check them out um, for the wood burning and the chocolate fountain and the ice cream maker. You have to be 18 and older to check out. But they're fun kits. Wood burning is really fun. It's checked out a few times. How, how long do they check out for? A week, I believe. I believe the kits are a week. Okay. There's a lot of different time frames up here. Right. I didn't bring the right information. <laughs> um, well, have we covered most of the fun stuff or is there more fun stuff that we need to talk about I think we've covered quite a bit of the fun stuff so I think we've covered all of the fun stuff okay well uh, this has been the uh, talking portion and I thought we might actually take a tour of the fun stuff and kind of talk about where it is in the library and uh, when we're actually over there looking at it we might find some more fun stuff Yes. all right all right, we are live at the Garland County Library Fun Stuff Collection. Uh, Karen, do you want to tell people where they can find the fun stuff when they're at the library? Oh, we'll go to the nonfiction side, and there's big signs that say fun stuff. <laughs> uh, can't, <so. laughs> can't miss the, the, the fun stuff. That's where the fishing rods are and the microscopes, cake pans, puzzles, board games, kits, um, all that kind of fun stuff. Right. We, we are here right now and we have more uh puzzles than i even thought that we had now, now that i'm looking yeah. at them i know that a lot of people have uh preference for the uh smaller puzzles or, or the ones you know with uh, th 300 or uh, 500 pieces can can you talk a little bit about that i can talk a little bit about that we have some 300 and 500 piece puzzles and we do have some that are the pieces are a little bit bigger for if you have trouble with those smaller pieces i know i do so we do have some of those are we uh, taking donations of puzzles we will take donations of puzzles uh and if we can't use them we will give them to the book sale room but we are taking donations of puzzles uh, if they're missing pieces, you probably just want to keep it, uh, but we will take donations of puzzles, yes. Are, are, are most of these puzzles puzzles that, that we have uh, bought or ones that people have, have donated to us? I believe the majority are ones that people have donated. We have bought some, mm -hmm. um, but the majority are donations. Now, I understand that in the puzzling world, there are like some brands that are better than others, and you have to watch out for puzzle dust. Do we have a puzzle dust problem? I don't think we have a puzzle dust problem. I haven't heard of one. I do like Ravensburger mm -hmm. is is the one I like. Uh, there's also one called White Mountain, which is okay. And I like I think it's Cobble Hill is my favorite as well. I'm um, I'm seeing one on the shelf that that I did last year during our snow snowcation. It was this Andy Warhol oh, yes. flowers, and I did it, and I think I took it to my mom, and she did it too. Yes. So it's it's gotten plenty of work. It's a yeah. very good one. It's only 500 pieces. Only 500 pieces, but very tricky. Okay, we're moving out of the puzzle aisle, and we are now looking at the fishing poles, and we have a sign here that says "Be careful of hooks." Yes. Karen, why should people be careful of hooks? Because they don't want them in their finger, and we do have hooks on these. Um, we try to have them ready to go for you. So all you have to do is like put that worm on there. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so if you come in and grab one, please be careful of hooks. And we do have a bobber on them as well. And, and a bobber. Okay, and now we're on the other aisle. We have some signs up about our microscopes and telescopes because I believe we keep those behind the desk. Is, is that correct? Yes, those are behind the desk because there's so many little pieces that we don't want to mess up. The microscopes are out here. The two telescopes are behind the desk. Uh, we do have um, the giant Jenga is over on this side, which oh, is neat. fun. It's been checked out quite a quite a few times. We also have bocce ball, right? Which has been checked out quite a few times. I think it's that one. What's this thing up on the top that looks like the, it's got some like uh, uh, lawn darts? Lawn it darts. Is lawn darts, but they are rubber on the end, so it's not the old fun kind where you could stab your brother with them. <laughs> so it is rubberized on the end, so you can play lawn darts um, safely now without putting out an eye. 
All right, and now we're in our game section, and uh, it looks we got a nice selection of games here. There's some uh, Scrabble, uh, some pub pub trivia, uh, quite quite a few a a, 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 a Star about? Trek game. Um, is 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 there a particular game that you like to play personally? My favorite with my daughter is Labyrinth. Do like that game. Uh, we also played Big Boggle, but I don't know. I guess that's checked out right now. Big Boggle was fun. And Battleship. We still play Battleship. Have you ever gotten mad and thrown a fit during a game? Uh, just uh, almost every time. Because <laughs> my daughter beats me at them. Right. That kind of goes goes with the territory. That goes with family fun is getting mad at the game board. Well, and that's the real reason why we can't have Monopoly, because it causes too many fits. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so that's pretty much all the games is there anything else we we need to cover uh it looks like the chocolate fountain is checked out at this time and the wood burning kit because all oh. we have left is the ice cream bucket. very good but you can always put a hold on it right oh yes these are holdable right if you go to our website and do a search i think most everything if you put in fun stuff comes up if not board games uh lawn games um should get you there and how how, how do you get to the library's website uh, on your computer or tablet, gclibrary.com. Very good. All right. Well, thanks for listening to our first ever Library Beat podcast. Uh, we had a great time talking about the fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. We we're working on some future episodes. Uh, next time, we're going to take a look at our brand new book lockers, which are super handy, located around town. You can put items on hold and we'll bring them to the locker. Uh, a special feature of Library Beat each week is going to be a trivia contest, so get ready. Uh, the first person who emails us the correct answer to gcl at gclibrary.com, the library's email address, with Library Beat in the subject line, will win a swag bag. So Karen, would you like to tell our listeners what the question is this week? Yes, I would. The question this week is about a board game called Battleship, and I mentioned that earlier. Can you tell me what year did the plastic board game come out? From Milton Bradley. From Milton Bradley. All right, listeners, uh, put your thinking caps on, and remember you can email your correct answer to gcl at gclibrary.com, subject line, library beat, and the lucky winner will get a terrific, fun-filled swag bag. So thanks for listening. Bye from Greg and... And that's the way it was from Kim. H7. Hit. B6. Miss. H8. Hit. C5. Battleship. A great game of strategy, action, and suspense. Miss. H6. You sank my battleship. A game you can play anywhere. Battleship from Milton Bradley.